Okay, let's look at the optimal time to trade. Let's go yesterday and then we'll go into today's. The, this is a nine sim Renko. It's our largest Renko that we show in the room. What we want to do is we want to use it to find the, the sweet spot in the market where we want to position our trade short or long. So the templates we make up for you, for your own computer, your own Ninja Trader, it includes this chart. There it is. It's a nine Simrinko. It's a Rinko bar. It's not a, it's not a minute chart. Minute charts are too late. It's not a tick chart. It's not a shared chart. It's not a, you know, any, any chart other than it's a Rinko chart that we built with the system. It's got a nice little trend filter built in it. So what we want to do is if we're trading, we want to try and trade. Let's go to 5 a.m. in the morning. Let's see. Yesterday at 7 a.m. Why do you start trading 7, 7.30? All right, I got three MAs on there. We don't use moving averages for support and resistance. They're pretty much worthless. We don't use them for moving average crossovers. That's pretty much worthless. We use them for trend direction. Then we use our candles on the 9 sim to find out where in the weakest or strongest part of the market that we're in. So when we get below all three, that's going to be the hottest spot in the market. But you can tell when you're going to have a trend change with this Rinko bar with these three MAs. Typically what you're going to do is you're going to see 50% of the candle on this little smaller MA, the smallest MA that we have on the template, 50% of the candle, that's a block of the red and re green, the block of the open versus close, not the wicks, not the wicks highs, wicks lows. When you see 50% of the candle or more close below, you possibly have a possible trend taking place. The next candle should be 90% plus or more closing below. Now you know that we got to look, start looking for short retracements. Then you get inside as the trend starts getting stronger, they start marking the market down. You'll see the candle get away from this smaller MA. That means it's not touching it. That means you're in a strong trend. This is your most optimal time to trade any market. What I like to do, a little tip I gave you guys yesterday, I like to put several markets I like to put several markets just on the 9 sim off of one monitor. So if you have dual monitors or if you have multiple monitors, you can put multiple markets up and trade the hot markets. The markets that are hot, the markets that are looking for retracements because you're going to see if, the, if you're angled down and below all three and you get separation like this, if you see separation and you're below all three, you are in the hottest spot to take shorts. This is where they're trying to mark the market down. These little wick retracements are typically five sim Rico arrow shorts. We look for arrows or three sim arrow shorts, and that's what happened yesterday. This is where you want to look for optimal trades to get into the market. Short. Once you get a green bar in a hard downtrend, you know to look for what? You know to look for a retracement sell. So it's going to come back up. And where's the optimal time where it starts to roll over again? There's your 50% candle. There's your 90% afterwards. You know to start looking for shorts again. And sure enough, we got short opportunities all the way down again. Now we're in the optimal spot to look for a trend trade. That's what happened on the 300 tick move on crude. It happened over the 200 tick move on crude on Monday. Same exact scenario. If I look go over to crude real quick, Gerald, if I look at crude when it's trending like this, go to crude, man. If I look at crude and the opportunities we get, same thing happens when they start cranking this thing down. They crank it down. Your optimal time to make money in these markets, when it retraces green, 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 first reversal bar, actually arrow caught that. There's your first 50% candle. There's your 
close. We actually got an arrow short off the five sim here off this wick. We got an arrow short off the five in the three right here on this wick. You can tell the space between the eight, we're in a hard move down. Here's green bars saying we're in a counter trend trade. This is where all the novice traders are getting in for a counter trend trade. There's your red candle. And then we're moving down again. Same thing. Green, green, green. Counter trend traders. There's your red candle. There's your move down again. So you can trade the same way on trend days, guys. This happened Monday. You can trade the same exact way. All right. Now let me show you a trick that you can do. Get that back over. Stay at crew, Gerald, and I'll shut this off. Actually, I'll go to gold again. Let's, let's go with a five sim real quick. So that's a nine sim rake. Let me show this chart beside it. The five sim Renko will be off five trend. Will be off the nine sim trend. Trend. I'm sorry. If you come up with the nine sims in a hard downtrend, it's separated from the smaller MA. You want to try to sell within two ticks of the symmetry dots, right here. These red symmetry dots on the way down. But once you break that five sim, which is next to the nine sim, once you close a candle below it. Start looking for three sim trades. Three sim trade caught this high right here. That's how I use a smaller time frame, the three sim. I really don't concentrate on it if I'm flat. I like to look at it if I'm trending. If I break through the symmetry dots on the other side, so there's two ways I can trade the symmetry dots. With trend, if I'm down trending, sell the red within two ticks with arrows. Or let the symmetry dots break. And look for three sim trades because you get this sweet spot trade right here and right here. So looking for three sim trades, you break through that way. So that's how you can trade these other two charts right here. That's right beside the nine. So you got the nine showing trend, but then you got the three where you can trade off the symmetry dots if the arrows fire with the overall trend direction. It's a really nice way to do it. Now what we have going on crude right now, I mean gold right now is what? Can you take that buy retracement off the three sim? Yes, why? Why can we take that buy signal off the three sim? Because if you look, we're going inside 50% candles here. You're getting back up. You got a little counterweight move that's happening on gold right now. It's a neat little way. Go back to crude real quick, Gerald. I'll close this off. Right now we're sort of in a flat market, right? But if you look at the 9 sim, we are in a small bias down. Let me show you a little way how you can do this. Let's say the sell signal, the sell signal just happened a second ago. I'll show you this here yesterday afternoon, and then we'll go today. It just happened now. I'm going to show you how to do some backfill trades. What's a backfill trade? Well, you know that we got below 50% of the candle here. Here's 90%. So you know we're in a downtrend. Short here, short. This is short, short, short. Here's a counter trend traders coming in. Red bar reversal. You don't have to short if you want. To, let's say you want to trade off the nine sim by itself without getting in the five and three. Here's a neat little way to do it. You normally get filled at the low of this bar if you waited to the green candle close. You get filled at the low of this bar, this red candle. You get filled right at the low. What you can do if you're in a hard downtrend or hard uptrend, you can really trade off the 9 sim by itself also. How you can do it is you can put limit orders, usually retraces around 6 ticks on the 9 sim. You can put a limit order in four ticks above the market. So you can put a limit order in instead of getting filled at the low of this bar. You get filled right at the middle of the bar. Why is that important? Let's say you're in a hard trend day and you're hit trending down. 
and you're trying to get short these little green retracements where the counter trend traders are getting in. You want to try to get short on a hard trend on this retracement. You want to try to get short on this retracement. You want to try to get short on this retracement. What you can do is, instead of getting filled at the low, once it turns red at the low of this bar, right there, once that red bar closes, you can put a limit, four to five ticks above the market and get filled in the middle to the upper end of that candle. That's how I like to do it in hard trend downs, hard trends up. I can usually, I can typically trade on a hard trend day just off the nine cent by itself based upon putting limit orders in off my Renko bar. So you can do that. If you want perfect alignment, you can trade off the five and the three with the overall alignment on the nine cent. But the nine cent is a really neat way to do it. So you can tell just off of this right here, off this trend change, counter trend traders came in. We're in a slight bias down. You can see the five sim. We're pretty choppy this morning. It's going to be choppy till crude oil inventories come out. But you can put limit orders in. Instead of getting filling at the low of this bar at 71 to 70, you can put a limit order in five ticks above, get filled at 75. The high was 79, you had a four tick risk, and you almost had a 10 tick move in a chop market right there. So it's a neat way little to do it is that typically the nine sim after it closes red or green, it's going to slip the other way <clears throat> right around six ticks on average. Sometimes it does up to nine. That it's right around five to nine slip, so you can play it knowing it does that by just waiting for the five and the three to pop you in. That's why I like using a smaller time frame with the nine trend. But if you have hard trend markets, you can literally put limit orders in what's called a backfill around five, four to five ticks above the market on average. But we're really not trending hard at all today. We're chopped. You can see market profile. We're in between market profile in both markets. It's chop city right now. That's a neat way to trade the Renko bar. So you can literally, if the market is trending three days a week, you can trade off the nine with backfills.